welcome back to the Mystics of Texas. This is one of a topic that I feel very uh, close to my heart here. I was thinking and meditating the other day, and I was really had an epiphany. I was thinking, how has the color blue being so common taken us away from Mother Earth and the spirituality of the color? Now, when you think about it, blue hundreds of years ago, just in the Renaissance age, and before that, it was extremely rare. Blue costs more than gold. So if you could be painted in blue with your little shirt, that was a sign of extreme wealth. Blue was only held in a few places. You know, you have some butterflies that are blue. You have blue in certain people's eyes. You have blue of peacocks, and you have blue in all poisons. There's nothing that you can eat that is blue that is good for you. It's all deadly. So you would respect those things that are blue. You said blueberries. They're purple. Yeah, purple. Listen, purple. Purple. purple berries. Yeah. But anything that's blue is harmful until you look at the sky. The sky is that big, beautiful blue thing that's held all through the ages of the sign of wonderful good times, good sunny times, blue crops being brought in. That was your connection to Mother Earth. When you looked up the sky and saw the vastness of the world, or you got to a blue ocean and it was so beautiful and blue, and that was your sense of traveling. It was a means of supporting yourself through fish. But now blue is such a common topic. Like We don't ever think about it. We don't think of the spiritual nature of the blue things that, oh, you can't eat that. You know That used to be a big warning sign. Now blue is seen as just so common. We pick up your cell phones and it's the blue light. And we've heard time and time again that you don't look at your cell phone or any screen before bed because the blue light wakes you up. It makes your brain think that it's daytime. You know, that was a survival technique that has been honed for thousands of years. And now we've just completely erased the entire spiritual nature of it. And I just thought it would be a fun topic to talk about. Well, I think all of those points you just mentioned are, are brilliant. And the power of you know, taking pause and looking at the sky and its magnificent blueness uh, early in the morning, during the day, any time that the sun's not directly beating on your uh, face or your eyes. It is fascinating, and you're right. Whenever you uh, look at a screen, you get that blue light, and it does wake you up. And that's why now people are, have created companies and individuals uh, blue blockers on your eyes and uh, different uh, types of things to help keep the blueness away from you. Uh, maybe not a bad idea. Maybe at night we shouldn't be just uh, having the artificial blues on us because I think to a large ex extent we can see it um, throughout the world really uh, a whole disconnect from nature and certain colors are really important. And just like colors are so important that politicians and uh, major religions have studied it for centuries, where, okay, well, you know, you want to portray this type of image, you need to wear these kind of colors. You need to have this color. Uh, and as dress changes and conforms in different ways, uh, you know, well, you need to have a sweater in this circumstance if you want to look, you know, like Mr. Rogers. Or uh, if you want to be a businessman, you need to wear a pretty jacket like you're wearing now or something to that effect. And like the color, uh, we're talking about blue, but just as the color red, you always saw uh, the former president always primarily wore a red tie, uh, a sign of... Uh, power and strength, um, we forget about the importance of colors in this society. We subconsciously remember and are, are subconsciously aware of them and, and are subconsciously, uh, they subconsciously affect us in a way that we don't recognize because we do not practice our or, or not in tune with our inner selves to start. Uh, well, let me just change that. It, like Graham Hancock says, we are a, a species with amnesia. And it's one of my uh, go-to quotes because just as blue is so important, uh, 
so majestic because blue is the color that encompasses us all every day and we no longer look at it we get our blue light from a screen yes we don't go outside and worship the sun we don't go out and feel the sun's warmth we don't go sit under the blue sky anymore we have grown up in an age where you go inside and you sit in the house and you watch your blue light through a TV screen. I always think it's crazy that we live life in the modern age online. We, we sit like this, where we have a phone in our hand absorbing the blue light when we could be out living our lives under the blue sun, experiencing things. You mean under the blue sky? Yeah, under the blue <laughs> sky. But we we want to live our lives in the modern air through somebody else. We want to pay for these subscriptions to these channels that will show us what life is like. And we need that blue light. I think there's something inherent about the blue that draws us in, where it used to be this blue sky. And then, you know, TV was really only a nightly thing at the beginning of its conception. You know, you only watched it at night. Well, then that was you getting your blue light again. You needed to see the color blue. So you watched that television that gave you that blue light to make you feel like you were alive or you were doing something. And there's something hypnotic about blue. When you get that blue screen on, no one knows how much time they spend on a screen. If you watch a movie then that's an hour, two hours. That seems like a very short time, but you go out and you sit in the darkness for two hours, the time passes very differently. Yeah, you you can look at the health of people because there is a much smaller percentage of the population, at least in this country, that goes out and enjoys the outside in a, a large way. You know, they spend a, a vast, unless you have an outside job, but then you're doing your job. In most cases, you, you don't take the time to look up, which is very sad. Uh, but the people that do make an effort to spend time outside and their leisure activities are typically healthier. They're getting vitamin D. They are more emotionally stable and typically more kind because they are... Uh, just instantly appreciative of the majestic nature of, wow, I mean, look at this. This is amazing. You know, you've got to think when you're talking about the forms of health, is it better to get all of your nutrition from good, healthy, natural sources, or is it better to get your supplements that you need for your survival through chemical means that are artificially man-made. Well, of course, eating the actual food is by far better for you. You come into the same thing with the blue. It's much better to be in the natural blue of the sun and enjoying that and realizing your own spirituality that you need to connect to that. Or do you sit inside on a screen? Which one's healthier? Of course, being out with nature is by far healthier. And you can see it with the population. Like you said, the people that know and do that and spend the time outside are much happier and much healthier. It does reduce stress whenever you're able to take a nice leisurely stroll, whether it is through Central Park or in, in some nice path or out here walking around our farm and sanctuary. Here, the... You feel more in tune. You get to uh, better feel the vibrations and the radiance of the earth. And you get to be under this massive blue canopy with this beautiful sun giving us all of, uh, not only, well, the sun gives us the nutrients for everything. And, and you're able to just to be a part of it and... Uh, walk amongst it you're a part of it whether you like it or not whether you're hiding uh, inside most of the time or not or if your only activities outside are, you know is going to a practice or uh, doing whatever as a kid or uh, getting in your car after work and driving home and the rest of the time you're inside except for the maybe once a week you want to cut your own small yard uh, or a big yard whatever you know those those are still nice things but 
still not the appreciative nature of just taking moments and pausing and looking looking into that great blue yonder out there that is just wow and one last thing that i want to put maybe just the cap on this is when you're out there looking at the great blue canopy and realizing that we're just on a small rock in a small solar system traveling around what is relatively a small sun in a vast vast universe where there is so much more out there that we can and should be willing to connect to and i just hope that this conversation just gives people an opportunity to think a little bit different to think a little bit strange to really look at what they do in their own lives and their own day-to-day activities and just think about it a little bit differently how can i really have a better spiritual nature is it reading this book that i'm told is spiritual or actually going out and being a part of the spirituality itself amen brother that was fantastic i enjoyed uh, that closing and with that y'all can please visit us on the mystics of texas.com rumble bit shoot uh, odyssey all of the alternatives will be on some more soon and with that Have a good day. Have a good day.